hello friends today in this tutorial i will be build, showing you that how to add a simple image file to your pdf document using jspdf library in javascript so this is a short little application that we'll be building so this is a choose file button you can see that if i click this button i can choose any kind of image file so if i select this file here let's suppose png file you will see that in the console on the right hand side the base64 code is printed out of this image so now we will be creating a pdf file you will see that this base64 code is converted into an image file if i open this pdf file in a new tab you will see that image is embedded because we have first of all converted this into a base64 code and now in order to build this we will be uh, deleting all the code just open if your favorite text editor make an index.html file and write a very basic HTML document. Let me just change the title to add image using JSPDF. And now after that we need to guys uh, get the CDN of JSPDF. So just go to this website, copy the CDN and make a new script tag and change the source to this. That's it. Now we have successfully imported the JSPDF CDN and now after that we will be having a simple input of file and I will be giving a I don't need name and ID instead I will be giving a on change so when the file is uploaded this function will first of all encode the image into a base64 code this encode image and this will be storing the reference of the image so now after this we also need a button in order to trigger the action to generate a pdf file i will be giving a on click so when we click the button we will be creating this which function which is create pdf and the label will also be create pdf and now we will be writing the custom javascript code which will be required for this application so we will be writing this in the script section First of all, we will write the encode function, encode image. So this will be holding the image file for us. And now guys, we will be declaring a simple variable outside the function. This is a global variable, which will be holding the image data for us, the base64 code. So basically just declare this here and it will be initialized to empty at default value. So now inside this first of all we need to get the image for getting the image we will be declaring a img variable and in order to get this we will be using our image variable that we have get in the function image dot files uh, square bracket zero so this will get the image for us and now after getting the image we will be using the file reader api so this will be new file reader so basically this is the standard way by which we can just generate a base64 code for any image which is loaded in inside the browser so there is a specific event which is there on load end so basically this executes whenever the image is successfully loaded inside the browser and now what we want here is that we just need to console log the base64 code so we can just get the base64 code there is a property which is there inside file.result so now if I print this and also after this we just need to execute one line of code which is file dot read as data URL and we need to just pass our img image file that's it just write this and now if I refresh the application I'm using an extension of live server so if I reload this my application reloads now if I just choose a file here choose this image file you can see that on the right hand side the base64 code is uh, printed out of this image so the base64 code is different for all the different image files so now if I click this create PDF button nothing will happen because we haven't written the function and now we just need to store this base64 code inside our image data variable and I will just write file dot result that's it and now we just need to write our function which was create PDF which will be responsible in order to create our PDF file and inside this we will declare a new document of jspdf like this and we will be invoking a method of add image so this takes our variable which holds the image data 
so this is a base 64 code and then the x and the y coordinate that's it and now in order to save it as attachment we will be using the doc.save method and giving a custom name that is output.pdf and now if I reload the application and again repeat the process choose the image file and now click the create pdf button so it will create the pdf file and it will download it as attachment and now if I open this file you will see that image this image file is printed out in the pdf document so this is a very easy way by which you can just convert the uploaded image file to a base64 code using the file reader api and then embed that image inside your pdf document using jspdf so thanks very much guys for watching this video